What do we envision when we think of courage? Perhaps the word conjures to mind images of knights and adventurers, superheroes, and the seemingly invincible. So we stare down the barrel of our responsibilities, our burdens, our anxieties. Summoning courage can feel like a monumental task. Societally, we often speak of courage as boldly charging ahead, come what may. To be courageous, we say, is to have no fear, to wait for no one. Through this lens, one with courage simply rises to the challenge by their own sheer will. And as we sit daunted, unsure, exhausted, we may be inclined to believe that bravery is simply not for us. However, scripture paints a different picture. Where we associate courage with advancing, the Bible links it with waiting. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Psalm 27 verse 14. Courage is born out not through self-reliance, but by allowing God to move and shape us. We are able to be strong and courageous precisely because God is with us. As Deuteronomy 31 tells us, So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Our God goes before us, preparing our paths and guiding our steps. True courage is an expression of trust and faith. As you reflect upon this vision of bravery and strength, breathe in deeply. You are a beloved child of God. Breathe out and feel the unbounded and unending love of our Creator wash over you. Take heart. God gives us hope, and that hope engenders courage and confidence. Confidence. If the creator and sustainer of the universe is for us, who could stand against us? In the words of King David, the Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. Psalm 27 verses 1 through 3 As you reflect upon these words of wisdom and encouragement, pray this prayer when you are ready. Gracious God, you desire only my good. Comfort me in my sorrow. Strengthen and sustain me. May my life serve as a light to others, inviting those around me to experience the peace you bring. Jesus, Help me to live courageously as I wait upon you. Amen. This guided meditation is presented to you by Alabaster. Learn more at alabasterco.com.